yeah, it's been a, it's been fantastic. You know, it's a new environment, a new culture for us. Uh, at Sydney Olympic and Sutherland Sharks, I was an outfield player, okay. and then uh, when I was 14, I went in goals uh, because of an injury at the start of the season. Uh, I was taller than everybody else, yeah. so I went in goals and. Uh, I was actually very good in the goal and uh, decided to, to change. I enjoyed it, I loved the position and uh, the next thing I was overseas in Europe. What yeah, I was uh, very lucky to, to go straight into the first team setup. I didn't spend much time in the academy there. Uh, I got to learn off fantastic players like Gerard, Torres, uh, Suarez was there as well. and. Uh, you know, when you're around these people, you see uh, how professional they are and, and how amazing they are as a, not only footballers, but, but, but people as well. And uh, for me to go at such a young age and experience uh, something so massive, uh, I'm very lucky. Yeah, look, uh, it's a massive statement. Uh, Rafa was uh, the manager who signed me and Rafa was the one that propelled me uh, into the first team environment. Um, you know, I, I was young, I was uh, ambitious and, uh, you know, I just uh, I thank him for, for those kind words because it, it means a lot. I wouldn't say anything really went wrong. It's, a, it's such a massive club and they, they, they buy the best players in the world. Uh, it got to a situation where I was there for six or seven years and I, I decided that I needed to play uh, first team football. Uh, you know, I could have stayed another season at Liverpool. I had another season left on my contract, uh, but I decided to, to leave and go and play for Oldham Athletic and uh, play over 50 games for the club um, because as a footballer, you want to play and I don't want to just be there to, to sit on the bench or play in the reserve because I played a lot of reserve games at Liverpool. Uh, so it was a decision that I made, whether it's right or wrong is another thing, uh, but to, to, to try and play some football. Yeah, it was amazing. I had an amazing time at Oldham. It's a club that I, I uh, hold close to my heart. Uh, I've had a massive memories there and played in massive games in the FA Cup for that team. And uh, it was a fantastic experience um, and one that I look back fondly on. Uh, I left because I had an opportunity to go to Greece, uh, uh, where I'm from. I'm a Greek, uh, Greek background. and. Uh, um, I decided to, to, to move away, uh, which I, I, I look back on, I wish I, I sort of didn't because uh, I was doing well at Oldham and I was playing. Uh, but, you know, the, uh, the, the, the artist from Greece offered me a, a contract which I couldn't refuse and uh, I decided to uh, seek a new adventure. Yeah, um, the last two seasons I've played, I think I've missed something like, I don't know, 10 games in the last two seasons. and. It's been uh, fantastic to, to play for this football club. Uh, this football club is, 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 is amazing. It's a, it's, it's a big club, it's got big ambitions. Uh, we want to win. Uh, we want to win everything if we can. Uh, and, and that's what drives me as well, uh, as a professional and as a player. Uh, because you want to be in an environment where they expect the best from you. And that's what they, de they demand at this football club. Yeah, of course. Uh, I actually played against Warren uh, when Warren was uh, at Manchester United and I was at Liverpool. Uh, I think I, I beat him a couple of times there. So, uh, no, nah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great coach. He's um, very driven. Uh, he knows what he wants from his players. He demands the best from his players. And uh, he, one thing he does do is he makes sure that everybody's in good condition, they're fit and they're firing and ready to go. So, you know, uh, his his, his uh, credentials speak for himself. He's been at big clubs around the world and uh, big players have spoken big things about him. So, you know, he's a, he's a good manager. Uh, I watched the, uh, I've watched a few games uh, on the TV. Um, I don't really know many players, but I know that, 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 that the, the standard here is, is very good and uh, the support is very loyal. Uh, and that's what, that's what makes football. Without their fans, uh, football is nothing. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's going to be a very exciting time ahead. Girona is a, is a famous football club. They're playing the La Liga and uh, they finished 10th last season in the La Liga, which is one of the best leagues in the world. Uh, they have top quality players. Uh, so to be a part of a tournament where you have a, a Indian Premier League team with a lot of quality and a Spanish La Liga team, uh, you know, it's very fortunate us, of us uh, to, to be a part of it. 
Uh, for me, um, I've got big ambitions to, to go back overseas to Europe. I'm, I'm still only 27 uh, for a goalkeeper that's relatively young. Um, and I've played a, quite a few games now under my belt. Uh, I'm looking to have a good season for Melbourne City, get myself overseas and, and hopefully push myself because I believe that I can force my way in, into the national team. Uh, but, you know, I don't like to look too far down five, six years. I like to look at what's next and, and, and uh, what I can improve on now because if you can improve now, then later on you'll be better.